Welcome to the EQ All plugin demo. First, I want to show how to import all your adjustments from a Link EQ instance. So here we have the Link EQ doing its job and quite complicated. So we add EQ All plugin. Then we double click the EQ All to make it separate so that we can see the plugin windows at the same time. Now we make sure that we have the same color group for the link settings. If you don't use the link functionality, you can keep both at the default setting, which is black. Here I choose purple, and now I set the EQ All plugin as a slave and the link EQ as a master. And immediately when I do that, you can see that all the parameters, they are transferred. And the sound is exactly the same. Make sure to disable the link functionality so you don't accidentally change any values. Now you can just remove the link EQ. Then into the EQ All plugin itself. Most of the features are the same as on the link EQ. You can click and drag on the EQ nodes. And here in the info box, you can jump from a node to another one. You also have a list of nodes and you can remove nodes from here and you can select nodes. And if you keep pressing the command or control button, you can select multiple right from this menu. And you can also remove nodes. Left clicking and dragging over a node or nodes selects them. And the checkbox on the lower left makes the node active or disabled. If you select two nodes, you can make them both active or inactive at the same time. And if the other one is active and other one is inactive already, you can easily compare a few different settings by going back and forth. Then dragging the frequency, the node or selected nodes can be moved. And below the frequency is musical note information. When you click on it, it snaps the frequency to the nearest note. You can drag the note display and you can jump to the next note with the arrows. The bass riff is played in the key of E and if there's a resonance, we can easily find it and cut it. If we select two nodes and drag the note display, both of them will be dragged to the closest node. Then there's the gain of the node, and if you press shift button on the keyboard, you can quickly adjust the width also. And likewise, if you adjust the width, you can quickly adjust the gain by pressing shift. Then we go to the stereo mode. For every node, you can choose whether the node will process both stereo channels or just a mid-side functionality or left or right. And below is a link strength functionality, which I'll show in more detail later on. Then what is new and amazing in the EQ All plugin is the dynamics section. Each node can have its own dynamics. You can solo the input to the compressor, you can select a soft or hard knee behavior, attack time, release time, and threshold. And the way it works is that if the gain is above zero, the boosting signal will be compressed. So you can make sure that if you boost a sensitive frequency area, that it doesn't get overboard. And in many cases, you can also focus different instruments in a stereo mix. To demonstrate, let's cut the treble of the slapping bass a bit. If we set both attack and release to very fast, it will also cut the crack of the snare. But if we make the compressor a bit slower, it will let the attack of the snare through and then start cutting the bass guitar. The way it works is that it will boost the specified amount until the specific frequency goes above the threshold. And if you use the node for cutting, it will only cut when that frequency goes above the threshold. This is an amazing feature, especially for mastering, for which I use it a lot myself. By command or control clicking and shift clicking, you can choose multiple nodes to be edited at the same time boost the gain up or down, change the frequency or width. When multiple nodes are selected, the info window will show if the values are the same. Double clicking any value will set all of them to the default setting, so you can easily set a group of nodes to zero or to the default width. 
When you are dragging the frequency by pressing shift, you can quickly drag the gain up and down or the width left and right. And you can of course select the shape of the node for all the selected items. You can remove nodes by either alt clicking the node or drag around the node and hold alt when you release the mouse button. New nodes are created by double clicking on the empty space. When you create a new node, the shape of the node is determined by where you click. If you click above the horizon, the shape will be flat top. If you create the node below the horizon, the shape will be peak. And below 200 Hz, it will be low shelf. And above 10K, it will be a high shelf. Then if you go all the way to the lower left corner, you can create high pass and on the lower right corner, a low pass. You can also let the plugin select the shapes automatically based on their position and amount. The boosting nodes will be flat tops, cutting ones will be peaks, and depending on the position, the lowest will be either high pass or a low shelf, and the highest a high shelf. You can also select the shape by command shift or control shift clicking the node or selected nodes. The dynamics functionality does not follow the group settings, as uh, I still have to think about whether it would be beneficial or not. Then let's go to the visibility settings. The left side and the left half of the top bar control the analyzer. By dragging up and down or left and right on the ruler, you can scale and zoom the analyzer range. And on the top bar, you can either click or long click for several detailed settings. First is the resolution of the analyzer. And let's move all the points to put it in an analyzer mode first. So as you can see, especially the low frequencies get much more detailed with the higher FFT window setting. But it will be more taxing for the computer and it will get slower. Next one is the average time of the analyzer. So you can observe peaks or averaging all the way up to 10 seconds. And we have the peak fall speed in relation to the averaging time. 0% will hold the peaks and low values will make them fall slowly and at 100% the peaks are not held at all. Then we have the stereo mode of the analyzer input. And finally analyzer on or off as well as the option to link the zoom level of the analyzer and the EQ graph. You can also temporarily link the graphs by pressing shift while you drag. At the center we have an output volume as well as the amount of automatic volume. If the automatic volume is enabled, it will try to keep the volume steady even when you boost or cut. If it cuts too much, you can set the auto volume to a lower level. Alt clicking the volume adjustment will switch the automatic volume off. Just like alt clicking the resolution will disable the analyzer. The stereo mode for the new nodes follows the analyzer stereo mode. So if you are analyzing the mid-channel, new nodes will automatically be set to the mid-channel as well. All the visible parameters on the top bar can of course be dragged without opening the detailed menus. Let's go through the linking feature. We add another instance of the plugin. We set the top plugin as a slave and the bottom one as a master. As soon as we do that, all the values are copied as well. The zoom levels are of course separate. Now every change we make in the master instance are directly transferred to the slave as well. Each node on the slave instance has a link amount setting from positive 100% to a negative 100%. So you can easily, for example, boost some frequencies before the compressor input and then cut the same frequencies after the compressor. And then let's put the third instance to show the groupings. A black master controls all the slave groups at the same time. If the master has a specified group, it will only control that group. Again, the dynamics section is not controlled by the master, at least not yet. 
There is also a help menu that I didn't show in this video that explains the functions of the plugin so that you don't have to remember them all. See the question mark at the lower right bottom. There we go. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, try the EQ All plugin.